Is it the right time to buy or sell Exxon stock? Welcome back. Today, we're delving deeper into Exxon. We initially shared a report on our website on Thursday, November 16, 2023, and now we're excited to bring you an even more comprehensive analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest analysis. Stay ahead and never miss a crucial update that could impact your investments. Elevate your trading decisions with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended as financial advice. Since November 7, 2023, our system has identified Exxon as a sell candidate with a score of minus 4.42. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a loss of minus 1.68%. This means that on average, it has been declining by minus 0.21% per day since it was identified as a sell candidate. The stock currently finds itself in the midst of a broad downward trend in the short term, indicating a potential further decline within this trend. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected minus 6.71% change over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from minus 10.13% to 5.12%. When considering the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 1.44% change over the next year, with a potential return between minus 5.09% and 15.38%. This means that the price could range from $97.24 to $118.22 after one year. Our latest update on Exxon brings the headline, Red Day on Thursday for Exxon stock after a 1.16% loss. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, November 16, 2023, Exxon stock price decreased by 1.16%, going from $103.66 to $102.46. This marks the third consecutive day of decline. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated between a low of $101.15 and a high of $103.27, showing a 2.1% difference. Over the past 10 days, the stock price has fallen in seven of them, resulting in a total decline of 6.09%. Although the trading volume increased by 5 million shares on the last day, the prices were falling. This could be an early warning sign, indicating a slightly increased risk in the upcoming days. In total, approximately $2.29 billion worth of Exxon shares were bought and sold, with a total of 22 million shares traded. Looking at the past 52 weeks, Exxon stock reached its highest price at $126.54, while the lowest price was $98.02. Currently, the stock price is 19.03%, or $24.08, below the 52-week high, which also happens to be its all-time high. Today, we will be discussing the latest analyst ratings for Exxon Mobil Corporation, commonly known as ExxonMobil. Let's dive right in. On Friday, November 10, 2023, Piper Sandler gave ExxonMobil an overweight grade with a hold action. Just a week earlier, on Thursday, November 2, 2023, Bernstein gave ExxonMobil an outperform grade with a hold action. Now, let's go back to October 27, 2023. On that day, CFRA upgraded ExxonMobil with a bite grade. And on the same day, Bernstein also gave ExxonMobil an outperform grade, but this time with an initialize action. Lastly, on October 27, 2023, Wells Fargo gave ExxonMobil an overweight grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Exxon stock a strong buy rating overall. They have rated the PE ratio and price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. Today, we're going to talk about Exxon and its current signals. Unfortunately, there are few positive technical signals for Exxon right now. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate a negative forecast for the stock, suggesting it's a sell. 
Additionally, the relation between the two signals shows a general cell signal, with the long-term average being above the short-term average. On the upside, if the stock experiences corrections, it may face resistance at $103.56 and $108.23. However, if it manages to break above these levels, it could issue by signals. Furthermore, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, September 27, 2023. Since then, the stock has fallen by minus 14.76%. This indicates a potential further fall until a new bottom pivot is found. It's worth noting that there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Additionally, volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign. It's important to closely monitor the stock in light of these developments. Today, we're going to explore some interesting signals that can help you make informed investment decisions. Let's dive in. First up, we have the moving average convergence divergence signal, indicating a sell opportunity. Next, we have the pivot signal, which also suggests a sell opportunity 37 days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger signal presents a buy opportunity 7 days ago. The short-term moving average signal advises a sell 3 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average signal shows a sell 33 days ago. Now, let's look at the relationship between the short and long moving averages. It indicated a buy signal 30 days ago. Moving on to the 12-month chart, we can see that the short moving average signal suggests a buy 12 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average signal also advises a buy 12 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages confirms the buy signal 12 days ago. If you're interested in exploring more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Exxon stock. Currently, there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that if the right conditions are met, the stock may perform poorly in the next few days. Exxon stock typically has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered medium. Yesterday, the stock had a price range of $2.12, or 2.1%, between its highest and lowest points. Over the past week, the stock has had an average daily volatility of 1.47%. Before we delve into the potential trading levels for Exxon, it's important to review some key fundamental data. First up is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This critical ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A lower P-E ratio may suggest reduced expectations for the company's future or an undervalued stock, presenting a potential buying opportunity. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is anticipated to be released on Jan 30, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $2.21. It's essential to monitor these figures as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, let's analyze some key day trading levels for Exxon. If the stock follows an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $106.47. If you're not already invested in Exxon, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before considering a position. On the other hand, if you're currently holding the stock, this level could be a potential opportunity for swing trading. Keep in mind that there isn't significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock has the potential to drop sharply under certain circumstances. It's crucial to exercise caution and consider making trades only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The average rating for Exxon from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On November 6, 2023, Ubin Jeffrey W. conducted an insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On November 6, 2023, Ubin Jeffrey W. conducted another insider buy of 50,000 shares of common stock. On November 6, 2023, Ubin Jeffrey W. conducted an insider buy of 150,000 shares of common stock, without par value. On September 5, 2023, Tally Darren L. conducted an insider sell of 1,500 shares of common stock. 
On August 1, 2023, Ubin Jeffrey W. conducted an insider buy of 70,962 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio is positive at 87.546. In total, insiders purchased 22,068,772 shares and sold 1,651,521 shares in the last 100 trades. The stock we're discussing today has received a negative evaluation, and it's important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Exxon stock a good buy? Exxon stock currently shows several negative signals and is trending downwards. Based on this, we believe it will continue to perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Thus, our evaluation of this stock is negative. Our analysis of the volatility and recent movements indicates that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, November 17, we anticipate Exxon to open with a decrease of $0.167 at a starting price of $102.29. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It's always advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. We're excited to share our current view of the stock with you. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also curious about your target for the stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable trading insights. We're here to support your success in trading. Have a wonderful day, and best regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.